Welcome to Sunderland RCA TV, your direct line inside the Sunderland LGV Park. This is Sunderland RCA TV News on Saturday the 1st of July and the season starts here. But before we get into today's bulletin, don't forget if you've not yet done so, please click on the subscribe button underneath this video and also click on that bell icon so that you get informed every time we bring out new content. In today's bulletin, new Sunderland RCA website is launched. The season kicks off with a trip for the reserve team to face Whitby Fishermen's FC. We've got news of the confirmation of the club's entry into the FA Cup and we also have new signings expected later today. So it's a packed bulletin. So let's get on with the launch of the new Sunderland RCA Football Club website, which went live yesterday. The site's still in development, um, but you can view it at sunderlandrca.com. That's sunderlandrca.com. Um, the old website of sunderlandrca.co.uk uh, uh, was, of course, uh, the, the brainchild of uh, the late uh, Tim Robinson, who did excellent work in developing that site. Um, one thing about Tim, he was something of a web and HTML expert. So the type of coding that he used for that site uh, wasn't able to be easily updated by, uh, by those of us that don't have those high level techie skills. So we needed to put in place a new site that um, was easily adaptable by uh, by people with less technical knowledge, uh, which is the main reason for launching the new site. But we have decided to also add some additional features, uh, as you'll see as you navigate the site. So you can now, um, as well as getting all of the latest news, which you can see here appears on the uh, front page, uh, you can also catch up with all of the videos here at Sunderland RCA TV as well by clicking on the box. Uh, and all the videos will actually load there after a, after a few seconds, so you can watch everything on there. You'll obviously have um, all of the club's teams in one place, so uh, for the first time we're integrating on this site um, everything about the reserve team and the Sunderland RCA youth setup as well. Um, and we've introduced some, uh, some interactive elements as well. So if we go over to the, uh, the first team uh, squad page, for example, um, you will see that when you click on uh, a player's photograph on the uh, first team squad page, what actually happens is that you will get a video message from that player with their essential stats. So you can have a little play around with that. So that is the new website. Do please check it out, SunderlandRCA.com. Uh, moving on to the next news item. Uh, and that is confirmation that the club's entry to this season's the Emirates FA Cup competition has been accepted. Uh, so Sunderland RCA will take their place in the competition starting in either the extra preliminary round or the preliminary round. Uh, that draw takes place next Friday, the 7th of July. Uh, and of course, you'll be the first to hear it across our media channels. Uh, we will either be in action on the 5th of August if we are uh, drawn indeed in that extra preliminary round, uh, which is the likely probability on the balance of probabilities. Uh, but there's also a slim chance that we could get a bye to the preliminary round. If that happens, we would take our place in the competition on August the 19th. Uh, but either way, we'll bring you that draw uh, for those opening two rounds. So if we are in the uh, extra preliminary round, we will also know our opponents should we be successful in that particular tie. Um, so lots of excitement to look forward to. Uh, and the FA confirmed their prize fund at similar levels to last season, uh, which is obviously a godsend to clubs in our position. Uh, some seriously nice uh, money to be earned if you can win a couple of rounds in that competition. And today we are going to be starting our pre-season campaign when the reserve team travel to Eskdale in Whitby to take on Whitby Fishermen from the North Riding League Premier Division with a two o'clock kickoff. Um, it promises to be a stern test for the reserve team squad against a team that is uh, two levels above the level that they were playing at last season, 
of course, because of their promotion to Wearside, uh, what's now called Wearside Division 1, there is now only uh, a one division step between the two sides. But either way, it promises to be a tough opener uh, with, as is usual at this time of the year, several of the reserve regular squad unavailable to, due to holidays and other family commitments, as you would expect at the start of July. Um, although, having said that, no doubt similar things will have affected the hosts for this fixture as well. So let's hope that we see a nice uh, competitive game. Uh, Sunderland RCA TV will be travelling to the fixture and we will be broadcasting some content live uh, before the game and during it with updates. So do stay across uh, the club's main Twitter feed today um, and you will be able to get all the latest news from uh, Whitby Fisherman's FC. Uh, meanwhile, back at home, uh, the first team squad will be continuing to train with their last Saturday training session uh, before the matches start to kick in next week. Um, and we are certainly expecting some more new signings uh, following today's session. So again, we will bring them across the uh, channels for you. Uh, and also this evening, we will be starting uh, the first of what will be uh, a regular series of Saturday evening programmes here on Sunderland uh, RCA TV, which will actually increase in length once the season proper starts. But what we'll be doing is that we'll be bringing you a, a roundup of all of the results and happenings from Northern non-league clubs on that particular Saturday uh, with a full um, classified results breakdown when the league starts. Uh, properly, but this evening we hope to be able to bring you uh, pre-season friendly results from quite a lot of the fixtures taking place today so you can get an idea of how clubs are starting the new season. Um, and with that said, you are now up to date 